Hey guys, so um, just wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, UCLA recruiting. Uh, today is National Signing Day, as you all know, and uh, a lot of guys talking about the recruiting classes they ended up with. You know, I, I initially was hoping to get some uh, people to fix the front seven on defense, possibly fix the offensive line as well. Um, you know, we lost Stanley Hosiak and uh, Xavier Suofilo. Uh, during last year's class. We actually lost them this year, most likely. So, uh, to do that, we we did find a really solid amount of defense that uh, was signed, that committed to UCLA. Um, very happy that, you know, it's not a total monopoly for USC. Sure, they have a lot of highly touted players. Most likely they're going to get uh, a couple of more highly guys, but uh, Definitely really solid with the 24 commits so far that we do have as this video is being made. Um, one of the uh, things we got going local, a lot of California guys, specifically Southern California guys, have came uh, have chosen UCLA. A new Heisel has sold the program well. Uh, some people may say National Signing Day is overrated, and I understand that because it's up to the coaches. We'll see if these coaches can develop all these guys with raw talent. Of course, the big signing of today was Owa Adejaizu. Uh, sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. I mean, I'm just reading some of these names off the list that we picked up. But Owa plans to be a very solid defensive end. And uh, very happy we picked him up uh, as he made the decision. I heard he was wearing an orange shirt when, when he <laughs> signed the letter and then put on the hat. I didn't get to see it, but I heard about that and I laughed. Also, we got a kicker named Kip, Kip Smith, and uh, he might be the next big kicker behind uh, Kai Forbat, most likely. Um, probably would be a pretty solid uh, looking thing. Next would also be Anthony Barr, a good uh, an athlete. People have criticized him for choosing UCLA over Notre Dame, but that's what happens. It is what it is. Josh Shirley is another guy who came today off the raid out of nowhere. Um, he wasn't expected to go to UCLA, this Shirley guy. But in the end, he chose this uh, over UC USC, another L.A. battle person from Southern Cal. And then we go down this list even some more. Uh, you can notice Anthony Jefferson has joined us. Uh, Jordan Zumwalt, he was a Stanford commit initially, and now he's a UCLA commit. I'm not sure how, how he came over, but I'm very happy he's joined. A uh, few other guys, uh, just to quickly name Chris Ward on the offensive line. Uh, the big guys we picked up were Malcolm Jones and Jordan James. Those were the two running backs that were highly tied to be picked up as well. Um, the other guy that was in the big head-to-head -head battle with USC that we won, Dietrich Riley. And uh, he's a safety, from what I've heard. And, uh, if we'll find out, like, utility-wise, what they use with him, because I hear he can do multiple things. Still worried about the offensive line, but I'm very proud of this uh, recruiting class on who we picked up commi commitment-wise. We'll find out what happens um, throughout the rest of the uh, signing day. But good luck. to hope all your teams went well. The Pac-10 itself was very competitive. It wasn't just the USC class only, and that's it. it was you know, if you look historically the past uh, at least seven years, it's all been USC. If you look at their signing classes, it's insane. But now all the other Pac-10 schools have now jumped out. You know, Washington looks competitive. Cal picked up some guys. That was uh, pretty crazy of them. Stanford had an early jump, like in September. They had a bunch of commits. Went back in September. And uh, heck, e even Arizona is competitive, uh, which surprises me. We know Oregon and Oregon State, they'll find their ways to. Even the Oregon State's rankings are not good. Their coaching staff is. and uh, We'll find out, of course, two to three years from now, if this class is legit or not. Um, but let's hope that these guys don't disappoint. And let's hope New, new Heisel can uh, develop these guys, along with Chuck Bolo and Norman Chow. I'll see you all later, and I hope you all enjoy National Signing Day.